going to show you how to install EXS93. So I have my memory stick plugged into my Cronus. Um, I just have it on the end of a little uh, extension cable here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to format this memory stick. Um, just this is just a guarantee to avoid any issues that we may have. So I'm going to select the memory stick. There is something on it there. So we'll go to utilities up to that and we're going to go format and i'm leaving it under default options but uh let's hit okay and okay again so that's our memory stick format so we're going to take that out of the chronos so there's my stick and we're going to throw it into my computer here. There we go. So I've downloaded the expansion library and I've unzipped it. So you just get this folder and then there's three files inside the folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag that straight to my memory stick. Just drop it there. So it's just over 1.3 gigabytes of data, so it'll take a, a moment to uh, copy over. And I'll pause the video not to have you sitting here for the next three and a half minutes. So back to, back in a second then. Okay, we're just about done copying the file over. Okay, that's done. So if I just go to the memory stick for a second. So as you can see, on the memory stick, there's just one folder. And inside that folder then are our three files. Okay, so I'm gonna take out the memory stick and we'll pop it back into the Kronos. So, we'll just give that a second to um, register. All right, so we're going to switch over to the memory stick again, and we can see we have our folder there. So we're going to select that, then we're going to go to open, and you can see then we have this option to install. So we're just going to press install, and it's asking me. Uh, so I have two solid state drives in my uh, my Kronos, so it's asking me which drive I want to install it on. So I'm actually going to install it on my second drive because I have a lot more free space available on that drive than the internal one. And we're just going to hit then install. And are we sure? Of course we are. And away it goes. So this will install the EXS expansion library and it will do a verification check then on the end of it just to make sure everything is okay. So. At the end of this process, you'll see a message. If you see it getting stuck like that, I wouldn't worry about it. It's pretty normal. It varies from library to library. Here we go again. This memory stick I'm using is not that fast either, I've been honest. It's only a USB 2, this is only about 10 megabytes per second I think it runs at. We're getting there, halfway. I should have put on some elevator music while we were waiting. <laughs> Just to 
keep you relaxed while you're watching this percentage bar move very slowly across the screen. Oh, we're moving again. If you're using a better memory stick than I am, it'll go a lot faster. We're nearly there. So, let's verify the installation files now. This is terribly exciting. It's quite a big sound library, it's 1.3 gigabytes. There's a lot of files that are actually in the pack as well. So as you can see, installation is successful. So EXS93 has been installed. And we can switch to a second solid state to do, do, do Irish Axe. And there we can see. So we'll we'll load it. So I'll load samples as well. So we need hundred and eleven megabytes and one point nine gigabytes available. So just hit yes could actually append to your existing so if, you, if you're using your append function it won't overwrite uh, any um, EXS expansion sample data you have loaded so I'll actually do it this way so it's 111 I have 174 megabytes left so we'll go so the idea of using the append function is that it won't unload your preloads it actually and um, so we just go to uh, program mode and we'll switch over then to the library there it is there so that's it installed obviously it's it's in demo mode so the sound will fade in and fade out so if you were to purchase it you would go to global mode and then you can go down to options and you can select the expansion library there and then you can authorize it and enter in your code hit ok and that will activate the library okay